This brief video covers an introduction to the TARP approval process with respect to EMC. For more information on this topic, please see our presentation slides. I'm Stuart Ost, Senior Compliance Engineer at Hariba Myra. TARP approval is a mandatory requirement before vehicles can be used on the road and includes many subjects such as tyres, brakes, steering and of course EMC. In the case of vehicles, EMC TARP approval can be straightforward as essentially the same three tests are carried out each time. TARP approval for electrical or electronic sub-assemblies on the other hand is more complex and that is where the value of a technical service comes in. Technical services are appointed by approval authorities to administer, conduct and collate the TARP approval on their behalf. The TARP approval authorities in turn are appointed by member states and are responsible for governing the TARP approval process including the issue of certification. In the UK for example the approval authority is the Vehicle Certification Agency or the VCA Others include RDW in the Netherlands and NSAI in Ireland. The first step in the TARP approval process is to have a worst case review, which defines the tests that need to be carried out to demonstrate compliance with the applicable directive or regulation. Tests are then carried out under supervision of the technical service in an accredited facility such as this one. Assuming that the product passes the tests, a report is produced. This then gets collated with other documentation and sent to the approval authority with the appropriate fee. A certificate is then issued by the approval authority. This certification, which only needs to be completed once, allows products to be marketed in 54 countries globally, a huge benefit to companies who wish to market and use their products internationally. But it's not always plain sailing. It's worth noting that more than a third of test subjects fail on the first attempt. Hariba Myra, as an accredited test facility and technical service to the VCA, RDW and NSAI, have a dedicated department to assist with certification. Our engineers work with customers on developing technical solutions on site at our EMC facility, and I'm pleased to report that nearly all products go on to pass testing on the second attempt. Mm -hmm.